Hey folks, this is uh, Paul Skinner here for my uh, 19th show, I believe. Got quite a bit of preparing, quite a bit of bits this week, um, so I'll get started. I uh, bit number one. I was I looked in uh, a singles ad paper and see what these uh, these women are looking for, and uh, this one. Uh, she said she was a big, busty blonde, and she was looking for, uh, what was she looking for? A nasty, filthy, uh, dirty uh, bastard with a, uh, with a lot of body hair and a big dick. And I responded, I said, hold on, Wheezy, I'm coming to see you. But anyway, that's fun. Um... Let's see. I got congratulated the other day. I um, a friend said, uh, "My, I congratulations, Paul. Yeah, I hear your uh, your wife is pregnant." I said, "Boy, when I find the guy, he's, he's gonna get it." But uh, anyway, anyway, I'll go to uh, third bit here. Let's see. Oh, I go places. Uh, I go. I my. I have about four places I go. You know, to meet to meet women and stuff. One of them is the coffee shop. Another place I've been going to is a laundromat. Um, the third place is the gym, and the fourth place where I found uh, that I'm having a little luck is the psych ward, the fifth floor. I go up there and uh, pretend uh, like I'm going nuts so they'll put me in on the fifth floor and I'm like, uh, I go, hey sweetie, you know, how are you? And uh, she goes, you're the devil. I go, whoa, swanky tuts. And she, uh, you know, she's chasing me around the room and stuff. And uh, I said, well, do you come here often? And uh, so, you know, that's, uh, so that's my new place I go. Uh, I meet some spitfires up there. And, uh, but uh, the nurse usually breaks us up and stuff. But, uh, but anyway. Anyway, I got to check and see what else I got here. Okay, I uh, I went I went like I say I went to the Pink Flamingo uh, Tavern and Bar and uh, some chick noticed me uh, from the martial arts studio I go to and she goes uh, you seem like a nice guy Paul you are aren't you I go well you know prison has a way of changing changing a guy in a lot of aspects she's like ah she runs out of the bar going I'm never going to find a nice guy I'm never going to find a nice guy you know like, boo hoo hoo you know whatever And uh, the other day, there was this guy, he uh, like, ah, he came screaming into the mental health center, and he had on like a pink tutu and uh, red high heels. He ran over the psychiatrist. He thought he was like Lord of the Dance. A couple of nurses, you know, shot him with some medication. But in hindsight, I think they were patients who just thought they were nurses. But uh, finally, they got me stabilized, and I won Best Actor in a Closed d Dome setting. So, but anyway, let's see. I'm going to save one of these for the last one. Let's see here. Well, UPTV, I, I went through a quantity of sorts trying to find my, you know, inner hairy man and stuff. So Mondays and Wednesdays, you can find me at uh, Garcia's Peace in the Pan, um, you know, wrestling with my manhood while indulging in a deep dish pizza, you know, from the, from the hut there, Garcia's Hut. In my A, trying to find my inner hairy man, B, 
um, trying to find my super ego, or C, trying to find a way out of Garcia's pieces and pan. But anyway. Okay, um, I hear it's a d different beast out on the West Coast, out in California. I, one thing I hear, the people are really nice and stuff. And they're a lot, uh, I think the morals are a lot looser, up, looser out there and more people are more uh, sexually liberated and stuff. But this, that was just kind of a warm up to, to my bit here. I... Californians and earthquakes, you know, they, uh, the, uh, a Californian will usually say something asinine, like, uh, during an earthquake, uh, there goes my house, you know, there goes my wife, there goes my two kids, whatever their names are, there goes my sports car, um, there goes the award I won in the Chile cook-off in 87, Hey, y'all, it's Miller time. So, it's just a different beast out there, is what I'm saying. I use a prop for this. I, um, like I said, I didn't grow up in a, uh, in a family who went to church much, but I went to church one time. I believe it was for my cousin's uh, wedding. And the preacher, I'll give you a lowdown. The preacher told me, he said, Paul, get up there and do a sermon. So I did, so I got up there and I said, uh, I went like this. Just, you know, kind of imagine that I have like the Ten Commandments here. I said, I, I hereby hold these ten, I mean these nine commandments here. And, <laughs> well, um, and... Uh, the, the church ended on that note, and that and the church and it ended with me, uh, you know, like throwing myself into the congregation, and I felt like a you know a biblical rock star. So, uh, but I was I was never asked back after that. Hell, I don't know. But um, onward we go. And um, I guess like in high school, I was a pretty shy guy, well, sort of, um, maybe in my freshman year a little bit. But I think I internalized UPTV a lot of stuff, like for the sports, for instance. One game, I was a wide receiver, and the, and the quarterback threw me the ball, you know, and I, I just kept running. You know, I ran uh, through the uh, end zone and kept on running. And one of the announcers goes, uh, <clears throat> boy, that Paul Skinner is quite the athlete. And the other goes, well, I think it goes much ch uh, deeper than that. And the other announcer goes, well, how about that? <laughs> and in basketball was the same. Um, you know, I dribbled the basketball, and I went off the court, you know, went into the stands and was talking to the I said, hey, how you doing? You come here often? Then, you know, going, I dribbling around, and I went to the cafeteria to get me something to eat. And uh, so, I like I say, I think I really uh, held a lot of things inside, I think. And maybe that was my way of breaking out of my shell in a, in a weird way. One more bit, I think. Let's see, it's the church. Okay. Like I say, you know, I've uh, I've done probably about uh, twenty low-budget adult films, you know, in town here and up in Chicago. And uh, I was taking questions from my audience um, about, you know, about the size of my penis and in my adult uh, movie career. And I was like, you know, yes, yeah, sir. Typical question: How big is it? 
it's uh, two inches from the floor, the standard joke. No, actually, it's, uh, it's 12 inches. Um, if the, mag if, if the magazines say 13 inches, uh, so be it. Please don't write in and correct them. If they say 15 inches, shut the fuck up. But anyway, i like to introduce, uh, introduce this gal with, with me here. Her name's Cherry Donuts. And you might have heard I had a slight marriage with her. This is Cherry Donuts here. She's... Uh, She's a porn star slash daytime hooker who uh, also had to pay to get s to sleep with me. But I'll end this. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, thank God for cameras and directors. Have a good night, folks, and I, uh, I hope you drive safely. So, so that was my sporadic uh, 19th show. Um, I appreciate uh, you watching. I hope you continue to, to watch my shows. And uh, as always, I'd like to thank Khalib, who's filming me today, and also Jason Liggett, always for the opportunity to get up here and uh, make an ass of myself. But um, on that note, um, I'm just going to stick with the same thing. I uh, I'm very... I, I had variety in my thing, in my show, but the, I'm going to stick with the same ending. I bid you all adieu.